Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pedal Porn Hub. And on today's episode, we're going to unbox and play through Gary Moore's guitar pedal collection. Now, Gary Moore has been an absolute hero of mine since like the age of eight or nine. I actually went to go and see him at the NEC Arena supporting BB King. That was incredible and it probably sowed the seed for a lot of the gear and tone hunting that was to come later on. I remember googling ages ago what pedals does Gary Moore use and the first thing that came up was this pedal here. It was a Bad Monkey by Digitech. Now that might come as a bit of a surprise to some, some of you guys because of course he's, he's known for using this like very famous 1959 Les Paul which was owned by Peter Green and you know Marshalls and all of this very expensive gear but his pedals to be honest he used quite cheap pedals so we bought four guitar pedals from guitar auctions uh, recently which uh, had a bunch of Gary Moore pedals and we were very lucky to win four of them so let's head down and actually unbox this stuff right now so we'll see you in a sec now it came with like a really cool letter of uh, provenance for each pedal. We'll look at that a bit more in a second. You guys should be used to my dodgy unboxing skills now, so <laughs> let's give it another go. Ah, no, they've got packing peanuts as always. Why do they do it? Shout out to our good friend Danny who did warn me about these packing peanuts because he got um, a pedal from the same auction. And also he actually did bid on these for us. So a massive shout out and thanks to Danny. But let's start off with the big boy. Uh, nice. Fuzz phase. Here's the bad monkey. Oh no, just touched the packet peanut. Oh. Okay, what's in here? Digitech Hothead. I've never actually played one of these or ever really heard of one actually, but that's cool. So we'll put that there. Now here is the, the main bad boy here. Here it is, uh, vintage 1970s color sound super tone bender. These things are awesome. Okay, so yeah, we've got the Bad Monkey. It says here that several of these were used in the mid to late 2000s by Gary, which is really cool. Now the same with this hot head pedal. It also says that there were several of these used by Gary. Then yeah, we've got this 70s color sound super tone bender. We're gonna use this later for uh, to enhance like the sustain that Gary Moore would have Got. you know obviously he gets crazy sustained but um this will obviously help us achieve that then we've got the first face it says here that it was bought for the 2007 blues for jimmy rehearsals in search of an authentic hendrix tone so that's really cool uh because you know we all love a bit of jimmy so on today's video of course we can't do gary moore any justice in terms of the playing and tone but we're going to try and get a bit of that creamy sustain that is synonymous with gary moore so we're going to use the tone bender for that extra push and for the main tone of the video we're going to use the bad monkey <laughs> guys we've just hit 100,000 subscribers not too long ago when we hit 200k we're gonna do the craziest giveaway you've seen and uh, in fact I'm looking at it over there and you don't want to miss it so please subscribe and be a part of that soon thanks so much guys we'll catch you on the next one and cheers